Welcome back, you gorgeous and beautiful people from the internet. My name is Manzi Games. Today we're gonna play the very, very first part we have over here with a gnome warrior. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, we're gonna play every single tank in the game. Uh, that's uh, what we're gonna do on this channel. Um, and I have my first death here, unfortunately. I think I should have cleansed. Uh, I can cleanse the... What's it called? I can remove the, um, the slow... By using the affix that you get for gnomes, that could remove that. And uh, it, because if you have 12 stacks, you take 60% extra damage. Um, and that really hurts. So, unfortunately, first death here. And the key is only a plus two ever bloom. No one else even died, bro. Like, it's not even, I'm, ev <laughs> I'm not even needed here, to be quite honest. And there we go, we finished the key in time, uh, but it doesn't show my IO or anything. Uh, it just says that we got one mythic done. Um, and yeah, we, we, I think we plus two it only. And the reason being is because we had a disconnect after boss one and we didn't have another death. We only had that one death on us. So not too shabby, Everboom plus two, fairly easy. Uh, even with my gear, which is like 390 at the moment. I went to the auction house and just bought green items. Next key I got invited for was the Throne of the Tides too. And I actually did a pretty big pull over here. I uh, just want to double check the group that we had. Uh, you can also see my healing is not that high, to be quite honest. Uh, it's way lower than the priests. Um, but yeah, it was a little bit of a big pull over here. I should have used uh, another defensive at this point. But obviously you don't know the damage you'll take. Until it's a little bit too late, so. Um, yeah, and obviously it's a plus two, so you don't really need a tank at plus twos, to be quite honest. They, they will be fine. Don't worry about it. And there we go, we timed the key plus three, because everyone was in this one compared to the first game we ever played. And it was my key, uh, so we got a 67 score out of that. And uh, yeah, so I just did one ever bloom. Yeah, one ever bloom. And the Throne of the Tides was mine, so... Pretty happy that, uh... Someone g gave me the ring. That's pretty nice. So we got two items upgrade there. A chess piece and a ring. That's a huge upgrade for us. I mean, guys, seriously, there's not much to talk about. We did a full plus two Dawn of the Infinite. Uh, we, we don't even have a death here. Um, plus three. 201 total IO. Uh, plus 68 there. Uh, if there's no deaths, I mean, we could just, like, skip the key completely and just go on to the next one. So it looks like we have our very first death over here on a Taldazor plus two. I want to do all keys on plus two, and the reason being is because, like, it's going to give us a decent amount of uh, item level, uh, hopefully, and uh, the IO is also going to be decent. So we got our first death over here. Unfortunately, I didn't fear in the right time, and, uh, yeah, the problem is that someone just had to die. But you can see that most people do have the kicks up, so we could have done more, obviously, to prevent the situation. Uh, it's only a plus two, so it could have been more punishing, I would say, on a higher key. And there we go, we finished the key in time, plus 67 score there, plus three, uh, yeah, total, plus three of the key. And then uh, 268 total IO already. On to the next one. So actually I actually have no idea how this happened. We got invited to a Throne of the Tides 8. I think it might be my own key, but I didn't record the number 5 then, unfortunately, if that's the case. Uh, because it's plus 2, then obviously if you 3 times that, you get a plus 5. And then we 3 times the plus 5, and then it's a plus 8. So I think I missed recording the number 5, unfortunately. So we have our second death over here. The first one was someone else. I don't think it's because I lost aggro. Um... Let's just see over here. That guy just died. It, yeah, it might be aggro issues, to be quite honest. Um, you can see the Warlock is doing quite a lot of DPS. I don't think it's the Warlock that's dead, because like the numbers are still going higher, right? No, it's just trickling down. So the Warlock just went all in and then died because I couldn't, get, uh, couldn't keep aggro of him. If I'm not mistaken. Now I died here... It was kind of a big pull, and uh, at least we have a... At least we have a Shaman that can use an Earth Elemental. Uh, so pretty good stuff here, but I'm really under gear, to be honest. 
So unfortunately I have another death over here. So it was a big, kind of a big pull. Uh, we pulled all the hounds with the, the big one, uh, with the ads on the left side. So it's a triple pull, triple ad pull. Um, I'm burning cooldowns, no? Nope, I'm not burning cooldowns. I still have my cookie up, I can see that. So yeah, it's not that great, to be honest. So it looks like we unfortunately have another death here before the final boss. Um, it's a lot of AoE damage, man. And yeah, just someone just got AoE to death there, unfortunately. <laughs> so... And there we go, we finished the key in time. Plus 59 I own total, or plus 59. And we got 351 I own total, wow. Pretty good stuff. Uh, but yeah, my gear is still like completely terrible. You know, I'm, I'm very unhappy with this key. So we got invited to a black rock hold number two. And uh, I was so unhappy with this. The healer was AFK and then didn't enter the final room. No, no, let me rephrase this. The healer was offline, didn't enter the final room. We started the boss. He came back online afterwards, and then he's the only death here. I don't know if you get like an achievement if you do a whole run without a death. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of sucky that, you know, we could have had the achievement if there is one. So yeah, plus two Black Rock Hold. Uh, we got 67 IO there and 418 in total now. So this is where stuff gets a little bit weird. Um, so yeah, we got invited to a Black Rock Hold 5. And uh, I did an 8 already. And uh, that's why I got invited to this key. So you can see my healing is at the top there, right? Like I'm doing the most healing. Now not anymore. The healer is actually healing. But I don't feel the heals at all. And I die because... I don't know, the healing wasn't on me, right? That's how it feels like. So then someone else died because they got aggro. And then I got all the way back here, pulled the aggro on both ads, right? But someone else died because I couldn't get aggro on time on this one particularly. And then when I got aggro again, I just died again, if I'm not mistaken. I think I died again, I'm not too sure. No, I didn't. So we have two deaths in total here, and it's because I died, right? Someone else died directly after. So I showed my um, item level here. I'm 403 at the moment, doing plus 5. And I think a 403 item level is still fine as a tank. You can see over here my item levels, right? I think it's still fine. The problem is, though, I should, I should definitely buy a back when I get online, because I still don't have a back there, and I'm losing 100 item levels because of that. Uh, you know, the pants also. I think I bought pants, don't worry about that. Uh, but yeah, so... Onto the first boss. First boss went fine on this on this pool right here. But the healer is not feeling it, dude. Like, the healer is very unhappy at the moment. So then we ran here to the spiders. And normally I pull all the spiders without an issue. Uh, but I just fell over and died here. And you can see the healer is not healing. The, healing, the healer is not even on the list or on healing. Not even on the list on damage. And then the healer leaves. Right? Then uh, I'm like, okay, well, sorry for the key. I don't even, I don't think I even noticed the healer left. Um, so yeah, the healer did nothing there. And then left after the wipe. So there was like someone here, another warrior. Uh, the warrior that's called Noxivor. Uh, he also claimed that he was yesterday. Uh level 70. So I told him also, like, I got level 70 yesterday, I did three keys, then went to bed, right? Um, this is now day number two, technically, but it's not really, because I only did three keys. It was late when I got uh, level 70. And I, I whispered him, and I said, like, how did you get your gear? Because he's like 445 item level already. And he's like, if you have a main with, with flight stones, all you have to do is go use the flight stones, um, at the vendor that can, you can downgrade your key with your main, and then you send it through mail to this character. So it helped me a lot to get geared. Um, I think I got like five pieces out of that, um, and I spent a lot of flight stones from my main characters, right? That is like 2,500 IO at the moment to get this character geared. So we could do eights now at a breeze. Let's just have a look. So the next key I did was a Wakerest Manor plus two. 
Uh, we have a death here. It's so funny. I don't understand. People didn't follow me when I came all the way here. Then there's aggro behind me. I'm like, dude, just run on top of me. No, he's, uh, he's attacking that group. I'm like, dude, just... If you run on top of me, I'll, I'll get aggro. Like, trust me. I'm not gonna run to you guys. Because I technically don't even want this ads, right? So... They ran somewhere else and pulled aggro from ads somewhere, I don't know where, and then tried to attack it. <laughs> and that caused us two deaths, or cost us two deaths. And yeah, before bus number three, there's quite a big pull here, and I was very unhappy about this, because the warlock is standing in a situation, in a spot here. You can see very close to the boss, technically. The ants will jump to you and then run straight back to the tank if you have aggro. So, like, I'm like, okay, uh, I'm scared he's going to pull the boss if I move further back, right? Because if the ads gets too close to the boss, then you'll pull the boss. So, yeah, kind of annoying. But now he did pull the boss because he's standing right next to the freaking thing. Uh, I'm silenced. I can't really pull aggro. I can't move away from the boss. So I'm relying on people to have a brain cell to actually come close to the tank so that I can actually pull aggro off you. If you don't come close to me, guess what? You'll have to sit with the ads on your face. There's nothing I can do about that. Every 10 seconds I can throw a taunt, get one ad off you, but it's not, at the end of the day, it's not my problem, dude. You pull the boss, not me. By standing close to it, everyone is standing far away but the warlock, so... Kind of annoyed by this, if you can't tell. And yeah, it caused way too many deaths there. Our healer died because the healer had aggro on the adds, never ran to me. And then someone else died because can't dodge frontals. It was just bad. It was, yeah. I think we got three deaths in total over here. And you can see me, bro, like, I don't even feel any pain anymore because, like, my item level is pretty good now. And there we go. Finish the key. 486 in total now. Got 68 score from this key alone. And we got a brand new trinket. Pretty happy about that. You can see 423 is our item level. So brand new trinket. That's also a tanking trinket, by the way. So good stuff. So the next key we got into is a Dark Heart Thicket 5. Pretty good stuff, dude. Pretty good stuff. Um, trying to get aggro here, but obviously the healer is too low. Uh, I don't know what killed the healer, to be quite honest. It might be, it might be the tiger. The tiger... If it jumps to you, it puts a dot on you, just like the boss does. And then um, all you have to do is just heal yourself to 80% HP and you get rid of the dot. So the healer never healed himself, so you obviously would just die. <laughs> There's no timer on the on the dot. You you have to heal yourself to at least 80% HP. So I overpulled here a little bit. You guys can see, let me rewind. So this is the pull right here. It's a two pull. And I saw at the back here, let's, you know, let's pull that as well. And um, trying to get aggro here. And then, yeah, this is a big, this is actually a pretty big pull. Uh, it's a double pull where there's a lot of mushrooms. Now, the problem is I want to stick to the side here so that if DPS can get to me, they can, they can get to me, right? Um, I don't want mushrooms to be in the middle because then they can't run to me at all. And you can see over here, obviously, adds will do damage. Uh, so adds will heal them. Uh, so you have to kill the two casters or ranged guys first before you can do any damage to the plants. So yeah, the, the pool was a little bit big. And uh, I didn't die, obviously, because, you know, I'm pretty god tier at the moment uh, with my item level. But at the end of the day, it, it should have been a better pool. Um... I, it's not worth double pulling this, let's just be honest. It seems like we have two more deaths over here. Uh, I don't know from what though. Oh, they're standing in blood, the big ass red circle. Um, and then, yeah, just die. That's one death. There's a few ads here I don't have aggro on. Yeah, but like, it, it shouldn't kill them. It's small ads anyway. But I need to save my AoE pull for silencing these guys uh, once they cast their ability. So yeah, it's, it's not my fault technically. Um, they were standing in the big ass red circle. So we have another death over here. Um, 
You guys read circle again? No. People just having aggro because they run. Okay, so what happened there was I would I would just call it the war uh, the morphling, the water elemental or whatever. Right? I don't want to do this, and then the hunter just pulled. I was like, why are you pulling, dude? Like, leave the job to me. So what's happening here is the water elemental is charging somewhere, but the water elemental is not spawning the warplings, right? Or the harpies. I don't know what to call them. The little dragons. But then the hunter pets run after the morphling, uh, the water elemental, and then it, it spawns all this water, sorry, all the uh, dragons. So yeah, that's what kills a lot of people. He's not controlling his pets, and their pets is like causing a lot of issues over here. So not cool, me. Not cool. So this pool, again, I made it a little bit big. So after we killed the boss, I jumped down. And then I was like, I'm going to pull this right here. So I pull this, good stuff, good stuff. And I'm like, maybe I should pull another group. I will never do this again. Uh, it's just too, way too many kicks that's reliable, that needs to be kicked. Um, and the guys on the left is not even grouped. So like, it's just, yeah, it's not good. And the, the weakness of a warrior at this very moment is magic damage. So... I'm very weak against his pulls, and I'm pulling two packs at the same time. The left pack is almost dead, and I still have aggro on them. However, someone already died. Um, I was like, okay, maybe I should go back left here. Maybe I can aloe-esque, trying to get them to group up together. There's just no way for me to get them grouped, uh, unfortunately. So I'm like, okay, maybe I could just solo this. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. The pool was too big, I can't solo it, I used all my cooldowns, I even used the potion, and yeah, I, I still died through it. And there we go, we timed the key, uh, plus two over there, um, 86 scores what we gained there, and 572 total now. Next key, baby. Next key we got into was the Dawn of the Infinite 2, uh, plus five, sorry, uh, Dawn of the Infinite 5 full. Um, so yeah, we have a first death over here, uh, kind of simple though, on boss number two, if you eat the bubble, you're most probably dead, uh, so that's what happened there. b res happened, I think he survived, it's a very scary area to b res someone, with all these balls coming out. And yeah, we have our second death over here, and uh, it's, it's because people are pulling stuff that the tank is not, so you can see over here, I'm safe from everything. And then all of a sudden, the big one is pulled. Um, I didn't pull the big one. I'm losing aggro to it, and I'm like, yeah, it's, it's not my fault, bro. Like, these deaths over here is not my fault. So, all my, I think almost all my items is purple now, except my back, my weapon, and my shield. So the problem is, since my weapon is not purple, or a decent item level, um, I really struggle to keep aggro. Like, I really do. So if someone has, like, a lot of item levels higher than me, it's just, like, really, really hard for me to keep aggro. It really is. So, over here on a pool like this, obviously I have my AoE taunt, so I can just taunt everything, and I shouldn't have any issues again. But, yeah, it's unpredictable. But, yeah. Uh, the, the, other, the other one... The first pull, we shouldn't have pulled both. Uh, we can allow it, well, we could uh, pull one and then just leave the other one up because we're almost done with percentage now. We have way too much. So, unfortunately, we have a full team wipe here at the final boss because someone didn't stand in the big ass circle. Even though I, I told them in circle, stand quickly, get in, and he's not inside. And Chromie died. And it's game over me. Then the next time, the next pull we got over here, the guy decided, he's like, hey, you know what, Chromie spawns on me. I'm going to run away, bro. I want to go stand there. And he died. And then I was like, okay, use a defensive. Use defensive on Chromie. But obviously I can't type. Oh, I did. Nope, Chromie is dead again. So another wipe. 
Guys, I'm very negative about Blizzard having stuff like this in. Now, here's how I see it, right? If the person is in the wrong place, they should die. But if someone knows the mechanics of a boss fight, it's not my job to explain it to someone. Right? Because I'm gonna get randoms again when I do this dungeon. And I don't want to explain this boss every single time I enter this dungeon. I don't, I'm sorry. And for someone like me that knows the dungeon, like how to do the boss, I should get rewarded by being able to kill the boss. Even if there is two people that don't know the mechanics. It is what it is. But since in dungeons they have features like this, where if you don't do the right thing, then it's a whole team wipe. I, I really disagree with this. I really do. If you make a mistake, you should get punished for it. But it's not, it's not a teammate. How do I say it? You, you can't rely on a teammate not making mistakes because then it becomes toxic behavior. Um, and then obviously this just leads to more gatekeeping. It is. Um, so I really, I really dislike that they put in functions even right now at this late into the game. Like it doesn't matter how many people complain about it. They should remove this. It should be something in mythic rating. Anything before even mythic should be doable at a somewhat of a decent scale. If like five people don't know the mechanics and you are 30 people, why do you have 25 people still that knows the mechanics and you should be able to do the boss, right? This is a dungeon. This is not a raid. And I'm sorry, but I feel so negative about this. Having features like this in where you have to rely on everyone to bring their like best and I know this, this is not a hard boss, but it defeats the purpose doing a plus five or a plus two even, and then Chromie dies because Chromie scaling is weird. It's very weird. Um, if there's only four people inside the circle, Chromie will die. It, it is what it is. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, a very, I, I'm very negative against this. There was a boss like this also in... I think it's the, the, like, the expansion before BFA, if I'm not mistaken. There was a boss also like that, um, where if one person dies, it's just a wipe. Like, you can't do the boss anymore. I, I can't remember which dungeon it was. Um, but I know a lot of people complain about it back then, and I thought they removed it completely. But obviously, this is Dragonflight, and they still have features like this. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section. Maybe I'm wrong about this, but yeah, it is. I, I disagree with it so much. So yeah, we did the key and we did plus three at still and we got a total of IO there. I can't see anymore. I have to replay the key. Uh, so yeah, uh, we got uh, almost 600 IO now in total plus 22 for doing the key in time. Uh, also plus three. Obviously, after wiping... I think twice, yeah, because we have 12 deaths, so we wipe twice in the final boss. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about the comment section, whether you disagree or agree with me that stuff like this shouldn't be in dungeons at all. This is where, this is where part one is going to end, guys. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day supporting the channel. If you want to support it a little bit more, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you beautiful people in the next one. Also, links in the description to my Twitch. Please feel free to check out that because I'm streaming every day. Catch you next time. Peace.